his pecs, his nipples, or something. His pecs look hello looks hella weird, but okay. He it's part oh look, of we the, just joined it and already we're game betrayed. <laughs> yeah, Bruno's kind of a douche. <laughs> yeah, Fears and their name game. is Pascione. Yeah, which I thought was dumb. <laughs> it's kind of silly, yeah. As far as normal dream, Bruno agrees to help Jorno. And everyone's still waiting for a fucking announcement day for Part Five to come out. People thought it was going it was going Check to happen out. this year, because that would because that would fit the trend, and then next year would be Stone Ocean, and then by like 2019 or 2020, then we would finally get into Steel Ball Run because everyone is waiting on Steel Ball Run. Yeah, naturally so, considering the shit it goes down. Uh, you know yes. And uh, don't forget to do uh, the Zeppelin one. Actually, this might fuck him up. Reason being... There's that too, but I just want to see if off the bat you can get uh, Requiem. Because remember, in the exact next fight, you're fighting Requiem. <laughs> the way you use people nauseates me, you're... Oh. Ne never mind. Yep. Oh, look. Hello there, Diablo. <laughs> also, I... you're literally talking to a mobster. What were you expecting? What the hell is up with the moon back there? Many things. So, I like how the only way you can tell that we're in Italy right now is the Roman Colosseum back there behind us. Right. So what's <laughs> he got for moves? Oh Jesus! <laughs> I just kind of took out my attack power, didn't I? I lowered yeah. his defense. I raised my attack power. So yeah. as a result, yeah, I'm kind of doing a shit ton of damage. Oh, oh hello! Oh fuck! You can do that. Yeah, he can, and it's kind of weird. Huh? How does it work? Very carefully. Apparently it doesn't. Huh. Okay, I guess you're just not going to say anything there. Sorry, just kind of thinking right now. Not you, I meant uh, him. Or did you skip past that? or? No, he he, he he did that, but nothing came of it. I think it was a oh. counterattack of some sort. Okay. What? Oh yeah, Diavolo, the only reason, the primary reason before finding out, uh, before getting all requiem me. <laughs> that he wants to uh, that he wants to uh, uh, destroy Passione is because he finds out that his daughter is a member and he thinks that his daughter might know who he is but his daughter doesn't know who he is so he wants to kill his daughter so that no one can find out who he is oh okay so he, he, his daughter is that... Trish oh pink hair check, right yeah Jesus the one with Spice Girls yeah and the one whose battle cry is wannabe <laughs> if you want to be my lover you gotta get with my friends Oh my god. <laughs> yep. You betrayed me again. What? He was in his gang. Yeah. Then he uh, left to join to make his own part select or episode select. Yep. Is it time? Yep. It's time. Have fun. We'll just do those are weird things in his hair. I don't know what those are. They're cell mouths. <laughs> okay. I don't know who I'm using, so okay. Anakata Fugo. His power, his power of purple haze, which I also think is a, no, yeah, purple haze, uh, devised of purple rain is also a Prince song that had to be changed to purple smoke. There's a lot of purple rain or, or uh, Prince, Prince references in this mo in this uh, arc. Yep. His power is poison. He has these little capsule things that when he detonates them, both uh, both him and his enemy get poisoned, primarily his enemy. So you need to be able to use that as quickly as you can on Jorno because Jorno is auto is auto requiem, mm -hmm. and he doesn't regenerate, but his power goes through the roof. Yeah, you're gonna want to play. Enemies. Yeah, I'm doing the cheap shit. Uh, stone mask, stone mask, uh, health regen. Yep. Don't bother with uh, with boys to men or anything because he won't. He he's not gonna need his gauge once he automatically goes. Basically, I think it should be okay. You should be fine. If I have the attack boost and the head regeneration, I should be fine, really. So the thing with Pentecost... Ladybug oh, uh -huh. nipples. Oh, so, fuck. So the thing with Fugo is that he's not sure who he's supposed to work with anymore, because on the one hand, he likes Jorno and all of them, and on the other hand, knowing who they are and what they do, he's not sure he can stay with them anymore. Yeah. No, he's not He's not going He's not going to, Di, uh, to Diavolo. He's just not staying with them. Yeah. So it's more no. he's just going to be off on his own. He's going to... Fuck, that yeah. goes a long time. He yeah, can so fly too. Yeah, when he when he air dashes, he like fucking till 
he uh, pretty much levitates. Jesus, okay. And uh, yeah, now he's draining, and I think so are you. But that doesn't matter for you. Yeah, it doesn't ma mean shit for me. Oh, okay. His health only drains for a certain while, for a certain amount of time. That's why you. That's why you gotta keep hammering him with the poison capsules. That's why they give you like six of them. I will say, at, le at the very least, at least fucking Jorno takes damage because normally yeah. when you activate gold experience rare cream, you're literally invincible. Yeah, and uh, see, here's the funny thing: is that is that purple haze is actually is actually a sentient stand, and he's pretty insane. He wants to murder everyone. <laughs> So Fugo has a hard time of dealing with that. I imagine, yeah. Because Fugo's actually a nice guy, regardless of whatever the fuck it is he's wearing. Hmm. Polka dot, strawberry, tie, suit. No, those aren't dots. Those are literally holes. What the... Oh, okay. No, those are holes. Well, okay, that's probably bad. They stop just shy of his crotch, for the record. Well, that's good. Careful of the mud. He, uh... Did I just poke him with a fork? I think so. No, you're holding a knife. That, that honestly looks like a fork. Honest to God. Oh. He's holding a he is holding a knife or a switch or something, and I know. <laughs> no. Oh. Purple haze, because because he gave because he either gave a knife to or took a knife from uh, uh what the fuck was his name uh Narancia. Hmm. He's the one that actually uh, took in Narancia. He's the one that brought him to Passione. And Narancia is just adorable. <laughs> And Arancia is a character that, ev that everyone, when they thought it, when they saw him for the first time, thought it was a girl. Thought it was a really cute girl. I thought Bruno was a girl when I first saw him. <laughs> so yeah, it's not uncommon, probably. Part four is when the effeminate design started. Part five is when they exploded. Yeah. And then in part six, it sort of went in reverse, actually, because. Anasui, the first time he appears <laughs> in the manga, he is actually a girl. And then Araki's editor, because this is still Jump at the time, yeah. says there are too many girls in this team. We need we need a guy and a strong one at that. So we so uh, take this character that you already introduced once and turn and just turn them into a guy. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just turn them into a guy. So the next time, he, next time uh, they appear, no boobs anymore. Longer longer hair, less female features. That's odd, but okay. So this character had tits at one point. Yes, that's that's great. And ironically, be in being more feminine, had shorter hair. Huh. Okay. Well, so have fun with Diablo. Yeah, this would be a thing. Uh, hey, Master, they good. <sighs> so is Jono actually under have goal experience requiem right now? Yes. And he's also going to have him by uh, by the time you start the, you start the next fight. Hmm. So if you can try to get it off, I say be my guest, which would mean start, uh, which would mean uh, bring in uh, the Caesar power. Yeah. Just make sure you knock him down first. Hmm. I don't know. I need something to knock him far away. That's for sure. I know yeah. for a fact that King Crimson doesn't have, it, doesn't have anything long range. No. That's the problem with mo uh, with uh, most enemy with most uh, final antagonist stands is that they're all very close range, hmm. except for uh, and, uh, and, a and white we are, snake. And we are JoJo. <laughs> okay, I've never seen that before. Not that I remember anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I re I remember White Snake being long range. I don't remember. Mm. Oh, White Snake! I thought we were talking about <laughs> King Crimson. Oh no. Oh right, this would be a thing. No, I, I, it looks like I am currently permanently in Gold Experience Requiem. Huh. Well, that's Sweet. interesting. Uh, this will be fun. I mean, if they just give it to you. Yep. And then at this point, the arrow just sort of stops being a thing. I thought the, I thought the whole reason they were doing this was to keep Diablo from getting the arrow. Yeah, no, what I'm saying is that is after part five, the arrow stops being a thing. Because the arrow, if I remember correctly... Isn't in part six because that by that point, uh, 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 Poochie uh, had already made had already uh, gotten everyone he needed together already. Huh. And for the most part, he was working as a solo act until later on. Anyway. You know, honestly, if I have gold experience Requiem, I really don't think I need anything else to go hunt into this. This is an idea. By the way, I like how how uh, Dopio is wearing a boob sweater. <laughs> totally. 
Oh, I guess you are. Yep. Time for cheap shit. Have fun. I think he also might. No, he doesn't have the auto dodge. Okay, he punched that. All right. Just gonna try to focus on this one a little bit and see what I can do. I I also do love how Go Experience is like always active. No, nope, I can throw it. Come on. That looks like a physical counter. I don't trust it. If Diavolo do, uh, does his heat his heat attack, it's good for for however much of his gauge is left, it's gonna auto dodge everything you do. So be be wary of that. Yeah. Not that that's gonna seem to matter, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Do you have an ultimate? Um. Probably not. I don't think so. But I'll try. Get away from the mud, for starters. <laughs> <laughs> My movement is called Beyond the Arrow's Power. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, fuck. I really don't think Diablo will stand a chance. Also, oh, it sucks for Diablo the fate he ended up with after this. My god. Yeah? That was something else. Yeah. Suffering eternal deaths or something. Is that really part of... Uh... Oh, I sound like downgrade. Of gold experience, Rock Room's powers. I... The thing is, uh, Gold Experience Requiem's ability is is to alter reality as he knows it. Yeah. So he could. So yes, he could theoretically f uh, stick someone inside the uh, in the inside Izanami. So far as I know, um, these two, King Crimson and Gold Experience Requiem, are actually kind of like opposite in terms of like the power because King Crimson er erases the effect but keeps the cause. Um, no, it, it, it was, um, it keeps the, fuck, I need a thing on this fight, shit. The we, thing about erasing time was a translation it, thing, it, what it does is he sees... It, it erases the cause, but keeps the effect, whereas, uh, Gold Experience Requiem, uh, keeps the cause, but erases the effect, so, like, if anything would have happened to, to Jorno, like, any damage, right, otherwise, it wouldn't even matter. The thing with King Crimson is that it's, the erasing time thing was a mistranslation, what it is, is... He can see ten seconds, ten seconds into the future, predict and react perfectly. So that he, so if you were going to hit him, he wouldn't actually get hit. Jorno fucks with that ability, so that he, uh, so that it stops working. I thought there was also something else to that ability, like he. There is, but it's not as complicated as people make it out to be. Again, it was a translation issue. I know. Because for like, because for like twenty years, the only, tra er, for at least ten to fifteen years. The only translations they had were were Duang quality translations. Better, but but in the same but in the same range. Yeah. Look at this, I could just ship him out. Oh my god. Just grab him. Uh, did I just get slow down? I think I did. Yes. That was something. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that trophy thingy is solo res. Yep. On this 4K TV. It was so adorable. It was a deal, though. It was a part one deal. <laughs> Golden Wind Requiem. I, lo I love these translation names so much. Okay, so... Well, Vento Arreo does translate directly into Golden Whirlwind. Yeah. And so, as a result, through shenanigans I don't know of, Diablo suffers endless death driver. Actually, the mic's playing here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Wait, really? And his ability to prevent his target from ever reaching the ultimate. He's level. literally just sticking him inside uh, Tsukuyomi. Yeah. You will be you will be stabbed continuously for the next seventy two hours, except <laughs> it's forever. That's literally all he did. Huh. I say all, but at the time that would have been a pretty big deal. Remember the remember the year is nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, ninety eight. Yeah. The current. Because it went, it went from 95 to 98, 99, and then Stone Ocean started in 99 and went up until 2004. Hmm. The ultimate dream becomes top boss of the past Jones. Yay! I'm sad that they have the part, the part A5 in the corner, but they don't have it for the main part 5 complete. <laughs> yeah. And our wallpaper for the unlocking, hell yeah. Mm. There was that too, right? I did that too. I don't think it was a door. All right, here you go. Enjoy part six with fucking universe altering. <laughs> with also true waifu. Yeah. Jolien is the best. Jolien is really good. Yeah. Jolien masturbates in prison and gets caught. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so... She just wanted to feel the rush. <laughs> I think someone actually does have a stand called Rush in this part. I, I might be remembering wrong. I want to say you're right, actually. I don't, I'm not entirely certain. Okay, so I'm going to do part one, two, EX, and then final again. Okay. Final again? The same, uh, the same way we did uh, part five. Oh, okay. One, two, EX, and then final. Motel, I thought you meant you were going to do the final one here twice. And I'm like, Dear it's, God, it's, not no. that, it's not that fun. It's not fun at all. That fight is a nightmare because you're running the 2011 America. We're in Florida now. Yeah. We went. Let's just highlight where we've been. We've been a few places. Throughout, uh, throughout uh, the JoJo-verse. England, New York, Japan, Egypt, Japan, Italy, Florida. Yep. Uh, and it was actually really funny is that in Eyes of Heaven, they make part four Jotaro a different character, but they don't have one for uh, part six. Huh. Also, apparently this is now ten years after the the last part. The hugest jump, I... Actually, no, like, one of the no, biggest the jumps No, the biggest jump was 50 years. Well, okay, Shh, ignoring that one. <laughs> the biggest jump we've had in a while, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Because part four to five was only two years, I noticed. Yeah, but that was also with completely separate people, with only two of the same people, and they didn't come in until almost the end. Fair, but holy shit. Julian faced off against Pucci. Already. Well, you fight Pucci a lot, actually. I'm not surprised. You fight Pucci in prison twice, I think, as you're breaking out, and then you lose that fight, and then you get sent back into prison, <laughs> and then you break out again, and then you fight him, in, and then you fight him in the Kennedy Space Center in Miami. Yeah. Is Donatello voiced by Zoro? It sounds like it. Uh, maybe. Donatello versus is also one of Dio's sons. In part six, you find out that, that Dio actually had like five sons. Three of them are uh, uh, three of the four of them were evil. One of them is Donatello. The other three are kind of mindless, and then they get beaten up. And Donatello just sort of switches sides after he realizes, yeah, Poochie's not going to get his way. Hmm. I feel kind of people have mixed mixed opinions on. Part six for a lot of reasons, but primarily because the first time we have a female JoJo, she dies. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We haven't actually had a JoJo die. He since part we, one. Yeah. To be fair, not one but two JoJos die in this part. No, uh, sort of. JoJo doesn't die properly. At least JoJo does not die in a fight. I thought JoJo did die in a fight. No, JoJo. I think Jotaro get, uh, gets reset. What? I really want to say he actually... No, I remember he did, does die because the wiki describes his death as... He, he was saying he, he was saying one more time to Jolene that he loves her. I really doubt the veracity of those claims. Okay. Not about the death, but about whether or not he actually loved her. Huh. <laughs> really? Also, jo Jolene swears like a sailor, and it's great. Yeah. She literally just no, you don't. She literally just says, "Give me a fucking break." <laughs> also, I love the way she dresses. Yeah. I like the hair. It's ridiculous, and I love it. Excluding the colors, I think it's really good. That's why you have. That's why you have like seven colors. Yep. You can pick. In Eyes of Heaven, you have like seven costumes, and each of them has like three. Has like uh, three or four colors. And when Jolene becomes Irene, she's like the cutest person in the universe. In every universe. Hmm. It gets me a little winded, actually. Yeah, I don't I don't remember whose power it is. I don't think it was directly Poochie, but one of the but one of them has has the power to just summon the plague of frogs dropping on people's heads. <laughs> I don't want to say it's weather report. Um, no, no, no. Actually, no. You're right. It was weather report. Oh, okay. Which, speaking of, he's actually in that cell back there, which is funny because that cell has a revolving door. Yeah, yeah, it does. I actually want to get closer to over there, if only for the fact because I know we only we only stay in this stage the once. I want to show off the stage hazard with weather report, which I think means he actually has to knock me down, which I'm okay with because I'm regenerating health. 
Yep, there we go. He starts dropping frogs on people's heads directly. <laughs> oh, Jesus, yeah. Well. And the frogs do poison. Wasn't there also, like, one thing where people started turning into snails or something? That comes later. That's a thing. That is a thing, because you can play this weather report. That's a thing you can do in Eyes of Heaven. It is fucking hysterical. Oh, my God. The weather the report's a riot. <laughs> weather report is an actual murderer. Weather report is actually Enrico Pucci's brother. Yep. Amnesiac from having his disc removed, I think. Yeah. Yep. The ability of Weather Report changes hands. Ass. That's happened a couple of times. <laughs> what, the, the stand of Weather Report actually changes like three times. It changes hands. Because it, because uh, Weather Report himself... I for, keep forgetting his actual name. Can you look that up, uh, Weather Report's name? Weather sure. Report has it. Uh, Poochie has it for a while. And then, and then at the end, it goes to Emporio. 